It's a good morning to you. Welcome to Asake Online, and this is the Breakfast Club. My name is Zenzel and David. One of the things that make me happy or you know excited to continue doing this program these days is the kindness and the willingness of the people of Zimbabwe, specifically the people of Lawai, who have actually come on board to try and support uh, different initiatives that are, are happening in our community to fight COVID. We've seen uh, a number of people uh, coming out to support the Occident Hospital, Thorn Grove, Mpilo, and many other initiatives, including feeding those who are not able to uh, get food on the table during this COVID period. So today we are at uh, Excellent once again, where a number of people we have come together and they've uh, taken their time and their kindness, and they're donating something to the community of Pulawayo. One of the groups that uh, we're going to be handing over a donation is the I am for Bulawayo America North or North America group. And talking to one of the gentlemen uh, who is part of this initiative, he says their motto is that they are going to do the most and they're going to be in it until the end. He says he's encouraging people to actually come on board to make sure that uh, the community of Bulawayo is ready in case we have so many cases of COVID and we have people who need hospitalization. In the past few days, we have seen us covering uh, donations at Thorn Grove, donations at Mpilo, donations at Uxilene, uh, giving out to the poor and uh, food hampers and all these kind of things. All these are efforts that are done by individuals. And if there's one lesson that we have learned from COVID is that uh, the people of Bulawayo and the people of Zimbabwe uh, can actually unite for a single cause. And most of these initiatives are actually initiatives that are done by citizens without the involvement of government. And this is what makes me to be proud to be Zimbabwean. So today at Exilien, we've seen uh, what we are receiving here are quite a number of donations. Uh, like I said, that I'm for Bulawayo, a North America group uh, is presented a cash transfer of 20,700. We have Nick Graham, we have donated uh, 125 oxygen tanks, 150 oxygen masks, then 125 oxygen flow regulators. We also have the Edgars group that has donated uh, 400 bed sheets, 300 pillows, 160 curtains. Guzman Motors has donated fuel worth 500 uh, US dollars. We also have World Vision that has come in with uh, 20 respirators and 30,000 latex gloves. Insco in has uh, donated food hampers to the uh, Volunteers. This is quite a recommendable effort from uh, different citizens who are working together to make sure that uh, Zimbabwe uh, beats the COVID pandemic. We said we are not just going to let government go it alone. We're going to come in and support because COVID-19 affects all of us. It's class blind. It's a political party blind. It's status blind. Uh, so we all need to come together as the citizens of Pulao to see where we can assist. And that is the spirit of I Am For Pulao, and that is what we stand for. Uh, first, we would like to thank the I Am For Pulao Fighting COVID-19 uh, Trust for coming up with such a deeply touching and necessary initiative to help in saving lives for the citizens of Pulao. When we looked at the campaign information that you provided, we were impressed by the governance structure of the organization, and we knew right off the bat that we wanted to associate ourselves with this organization. This donation that we're making today here, ladies and gentlemen, is not about us. It is, how, it is not about how much we are able to donate. It's not about solving all the problems of Bulawayo, but it is about the people of Bulawayo. This donation comes as a collective effort by Zimbabwean well-wishers in the United States who came together under the leadership of Mwete Simakun Kolomi and wishes Makaliela Shabangana, who are also proud citizens of Ulawa. Right, they got together to put money together to lend a hand to this noble and wonderful initiative, the I Am For Ulawa Fighting COVID-19. We call ourselves I am for Bulawayo fighting COVID-19 USA. We would like to thank all Zimbabweans <laughs> in the USA who joined the I am for Bulawayo fighting COVID-19 USA group for making it possible to bring together such an impressive amount in a, very, in a very short period of two weeks. As you are all aware that even as we come together to donate, we ourselves are in lockdown one way or another. 
We live in a country hit by the worst of the COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic. But in the midst of all that, our people still found it themselves in themselves to share with Wulawai or whatever they can. Those who participated will attest that this was done in such a cordial, loving, and fun environment never witnessed before in attestation of the love for Bulawayo, Lingatinoa, Bantubagit. We do realize that this money cannot solve all the problems faced by our people in Bulawayo, but our hope and prayer is that this money donated can, in a small way, help towards saving lives from this atrocious pandemic and contribute to the general well-being of our citizens. We hope that other groups elsewhere in the diaspora can do the same, if not in a bigger way for us to continue to bless those that are less fortunate. We would like to thank your team once again for facilitating and creating a platform for us to be able to be part of this initiative. We are now friends of the I Am For Bulawayo Fighting COVID-19 Trust and hope we can continue working together to uplift Bulawayo. May God bless you and God bless Bulawayo. And I would like to confirm and, and the chairman to confirm that you have received the, the transfer. Yes. Uh, we have received the total amount, uh, Honorable Minister colleagues, of 20,000 uh, United States dollars, $700. dollars 20,000. I need to say that this is our largest contribution donation so far in United States dollars. Uh, they beat United Refineries only with by seven hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> we, we gave twenty thousand when I'm about you seven hundred on top, just so that they could be the largest donor so far. So, so thank you very much, uh, Siamo. Yeah, on that score, I'd also want to add on that it is very important that uh, we support Bulawayo brands that are also supporting the I am for Bulawayo Fighting Coffee Trust. Because uh, the other brands it might sound political, but they are brands which are not from the city that we may seem to be supporting when we've got local brands which are twice as good as those brands. But these are the brands that are protecting us in these times and helping us in these times. So the next time you go to a shelf, make sure you buy Wulawayo. Just look on the shelf. If it's a Wulawayo product and you know this company is helping, like United Refineries, yeah, as well. <laughs> yes, it's also important to listen to local radio stations like Sky's Metro, which, which we are helping uh, put out the message of uh, fighting COVID-19. Right? We have also got friends of mine, um, Alpha Water, uh, which is here, the water that we're drinking uh, is Alpha Water. They've also given us a donation of 20 cases of, of water to donate today. Uh, Alpha Water is actually the only company making water for kids, which is a water-sized bottle uh, for children. Uh, also, Ingwebo Breweries is on its way. They have donated 20 cases of uh, Ingwebo Royal Maheu. <laughs> and then last but not least, um, for the committee, the people in the committee for, um, for Bulawayo uh, fighting COVID, there is a short base uh, gearbox works. He has uh, pledged that if any of your cars has a problem during this period with your gear boxes, you can bring them to the real fix this. That's his contribution. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Edgar Stores Limited is here today, courtesy of the Multi Stakeholder Trust, I am Poglawayo, fighting COVID 19. That pulled together resources from Bulawayo based corporates to assist in the fight against COVID-19. As one of the few remaining listed corporates headquartered right here in Bulawayo, we are particularly proud to partner with this initiative through contributing much needed bed linen and curtains that were manufactured at our factory, uh, Carousel, right here in Bulawayo. So we have three divisions, the Carousel Manufacturing Division, Edgar Stores, and also Jet Stores. So that's part of the Edgar group. What makes this occasion particularly touching for us is the opening of Epsilene Hospital to fight against this global pandemic that has affected people of all ages, race, and gender. Over the past few months, we've witnessed an abrupt change in the way we operate our businesses and go about living our day-to-day -day lives. 
COVID-19 has without doubt changed the way we work, changed the way we interact, changed the way we communicate. There are a few things, however, that COVID-19 has not changed. And the most important one in the context of our city is the spirit of Ubuntu. And we see this coming out strongly through this initiative that we, part, uh, that we are gathered for here today, which we believe is one of many that we will participate in as we fight this pandemic together. As Edgars, we pledge to continue giving our unwavering support through sustainable partnerships such as these, as we work together to fight to keep our communities together. This, we believe, is what builds our country and prepares the next generation for their inheritance. I am for Lawai. We felt one touched. Secondly, we felt proud because uh, we are intended to change first our own homes, then we go out of our own homes. And that is why when we approached, we thought we should do put a little bit of whatever we make from where we are. And uh, through that, we made a small contribution to the chair of uh, 500 US dollars. And in addition, we, we thought uh, perhaps as the team goes around, they also go to, to the areas, especially the Western areas, to distribute some of these things. And we offered some few 100 liters of diesel. And, all, and we were told that sometimes, you know, the, you need to have power uh, for, for a generator. And we offered 20 liters of petrol. <laughs> Perhaps you, you should, if you don't. Oh no, this my motor. We we might uh, be the only surviving in, uh, indigenous original fuel distribution company. Guzman Motors in Five Street and Sixth Avenue Extension Western Motors. We have been here. We were born here, and we are here to stay. And I, was talking, and I was talking to the chairman that what is the intention after we have handed these things to the government and uh, COVID is gone? Shall we let Mulawai go back to where it was? He said, no. The intention is to now take it from there and make it permanent. Then he said, oh, if it is going to be permanent, I will ask each one of you to pass by Busman Motors pay for fuel, <laughs> fill your tanks, so that we contribute fuel to the ambulances. <laughs> <laughs> so that we will contribute to the ambulances that will be safe in the hospital. I thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Um, Janganja, thank you. Um, yeah, we, I think when we have ambulances, they will be coming to you there. <laughs> um, you know, I got a grudge. I got married about 20 years ago. And when I got married, the Honorable Minister, this is your ticket, you can get the real animal. <laughs> 20 years later, I'm still waiting <laughs> uh, to claim that. So, you are going to see us, that place. If you see an ambulance written every they know that we are there for, for fuel. Um, thank you very much. Asim Chailini Next, we have uh, from World Vision, uh, Mr. S. Kamini. We are a Christian humanitarian organization whose mission is to call our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in working with the two on an oppressed to promote human transformation, seek justice, and bear witness to the good news of the kingdom of God. And one of our core values among the six that we have is that we are responsive. And added to that, 
we have what we call our promise strategy. And it has key strategic imperatives. And one of the strategic imperatives reads collaborating and advocating for broader impact, changing from largely working on our own in our way to partnerships, joint ventures, and advocacy with those who share our goals. I realize that I am for now, we share the same goals in terms of saving humanity. And the World Vision is here, uh, having donated 20 respirators and 30,000 lattice gloves. So we are grateful to partner with you, and I pray and hope this partnership <laughs> is going to persist. Please continue to call on us so that we can save humanity together. I have our magazine 2019 here uh, report that I would like to share with the minister and the strategic trustees so that we can read more about the great work that organization is doing in the country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you for that, for the latex gloves and for the respirators, quite a large number there. When we have our caregivers, uh, excellently our first initial target is to get to 50 beds uh, sometime before the end of June and to be functional, to receive at least 50 COVID-19 patients. But it's a 200 bed hospital. So we intend to equip it to that, to that level, to keep going until we get to 200. The money that has been donated by our friends from the U.S., I needed to mention that most of it is going to go towards procuring the beds. Uh, and the beds, some of them were procuring them locally, but some of them, the ICU and HDU beds, we have to import them because they are, they are specialized. But it's high time, Zimbabwean companies, the call to answer the call, Egawa mm -hmm. That's this program, because you find that the Zimbabweans that are making those beds that side, or working for companies and then so it's time we created some of these industries to support healthcare, not just for Blaue, but for Zimbabwe and for Sada. So I think it's important that we take this opportunity also to revive our our industries. Take a seed we're a company that manufactures seeds, agricultural seeds, and we also distribute uh, agricultural imp implements. When we heard about uh, this initiative, I'm for Blower fighting against COVID, we came in to partner with our small token of our 10,000 masks. It's a very short and sweet, but a very large number of uh, masks that uh, uh, you are donating, which will go a long way. Especially Minister Vestavanga, I'm a quarantine center mm -hmm. where there are a lot of people there now that are coming in, and some of them don't have masks. So um, I think it would be a good use. Uh, next, I have uh, from Insco. Insco. I am for Bulawa. I'm from Providence Human Capital. Uh, which is uh, part of uh, Insco Africa Limited. And uh, we are also saying that we are for Bulawai. Um, for today, we've just come with our small donation. One thing that I realized as I was speaking to Dr. Dube and Mrs. Nduviwa uh, is we can all give our different donations in kind, in cash, but there are people that have given their donation in terms of labor, freely given it to Ebusilen for the sake of the people of Bulawai. And uh, for today, we have specifically looked at those people. So what we have simply done, we have brought in a few groceries that can be given to those a few workers. It's just something, a token of appreciation Put a time just in that. Today, I want to see Sugu, Messi, Pe, Aman, and now when Sugu pa, Imani, there is always something that one can give. And what we are saying to Avantu Bago Blawa, wherever they are, Bonge, Songe, we can give something towards this COVID initiative. Uh, in just to close off, one of our key um, thing that we look at as Providence is uh, it's a human capital company. And one of the key things is Ubuntu. 
And Ubuntu Kuchute, I am because we are. And uh, I pray that we can all rise as Bulawai. And we all can say, I am for Bulawai. Thank you. Thank you very much. What I was eating to regular poor minister and general chairman for now. Oh, I'm a foot up, but I see a royal. My foot up, I can go on. So I I take the challenge. You won't call. If I said, you won't call you, said, so say that later we ate the damn it up. Your oil cooking oil would give you a corner. Mama, you snap. Thank you very much uh, to Providence Health and to the INSCO group for this very kind gesture and donation. I must mention uh, there was a gentleman who was supposed to be here. Uh, but I need to make special mention. There are many donations that we are receiving. This is just an end sample. Uh, Mr. Chigwada, who is the uh, chairperson, uh, he's also the national vice president of uh, uh, CZI and the managing director of Zimpla. So we are really honored as I'm for Blauer to have him looking after resource mobilization, looking after our finances. But he's been sending me a list every week and the list is growing. We also share that list with the minister. Uh, 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 it's, it's a growing list of donations that are coming in and we are really humbled because this initiative is not about us, it's about Bulawayo, it's about the people of Bulawayo defending themselves. So Uba Aba Umnik Graham has donated uh, 125, Honorable Minister, 125 oxygen tanks. <laughs> And uh, that's an example of the oxygen tank there, what it looks like. Uh, and, and really, we are really humbled to have these oxygen tanks. Epsilon has piped oxygen, but sometimes, because of technical faults, you need this uh, uh, as a sort of a stopgap and to supplement. Uh, uh, as you know, COVID uh, treatment requires a lot of oxygen. Some of them, Honorable Minister, will take to Thorn Group as well. Uh, uh, I am for Bula, is for Bula. It's not just MCL. It's all the facilities we have. We want to make sure that it's balanced and we are sharing what is, what is given. So, Uba Uni Graham, 125 oxygen tanks, 150 oxygen masks. These are not the masks that we are wearing. These are the ones for treating someone. Uh, and the oxygen flow regulators, 125 again. So, it's a full set. So we're really grateful to Mr. Nick Graham uh, for this donation, and we wanted to make sure that it's noted in the presence of the minister. Last week, we had Sisse Montrose, a minister who came Matema, or a primary and secondary education, who will launch a program through radio, Unga kula. Kansu se spezi. Kwe so kutuwa kufune kukuti. Mtu lana piwi kazi. Venega basuwa kukuti li kazi le shoni. Abasuwa kukuti li kazi le ndebe. Kuti nga gati kazi li kambela na lao. Ukuti ni vene kubani. Akuti ngeki. Ngeni njela singu mtu mwenye. He emphasized on that. And I'm saying today, I'm for Bulawayo. Bulawayo, Basoga Busis. Bulawayo, Basoga Mani. Bulawayo, Muabantu. Abasadi Baga Bulawayo. Me and you. Sinda Wonye, we can make a difference. Allow me, therefore, 
to accept, to receive all these donations on behalf of the president, on behalf of the government. I, I just want to say, this conjure. Thank you so much. You have been able to communicate effectively with friends in the United States. You are able to communicate with friends, your brothers and sisters, all those who are in the diaspora. You have the communicating skills. Let's make use of them. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You need to quote to him, mobilization. <laughs> He has got that skill. We need to know each other. We need to find ourselves as people of Bulawayo. I was saying, Kwenye Timu as a Boralab. Nye Timina Linga Maloto Konen Linga Sondele Langa Vanyavantu. Stand up and be counted. Approach other people. hospital. It's not for him. It's not for some post who is called to government. Oh, government, it's me and you. If we put our heads together, we shall make it. We shall make a difference. Oputwusi Salapa says, we are complementing the government. And the government, it's you and me. But those who have taken an initiative to say, let us accelerate the speed, we really appreciate. And this is exactly what is happening. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, Bulawayo. Thank you, people of Zimbabwe, for seeing that light to say, we want to reach that light. And all of us, we are facing to the same direction. We shall make it. This hospital will be opened soon. And according to the chairman, I'm for Bulawayo, he says, end of June. <clears throat> and we need, therefore, to support him to achieve that. We need them as members, the I'm for Bulawayo, the government, the local authority, to achieve all these set goals. Unless and until we do that, we shall be doing ourselves down and it will be a disservice. People are expecting us to deliver. People are expecting a good service delivery system. If you observe something and if you feel it can be done the other way so that it improves. One, two, three. Let's share. Let's share that. Kulama buildings. We are there in Let's be proud of all these infrastructures around us. A sense of ownership. Say, Dina. I send Zeninjalo Vanganvan.
Thank you so much. On behalf of government, allow me to say thank you, job well done. I see any pambi. The late vice president used to say, Pambi Lima told. Ah, that is a fool, never find that. He says, Look, I need to cheer up. Thank you very much, uh, Honorable Minister. Thank you for fighting for, for blood. We know that in your role, it's you that's pulling all these ministry departments that we are seeing, public works, everybody to do what they need to do and coordinating. We have meetings. Uh, Umama chairs our provincial task force for COVID-19. And we sit in those meetings, we contribute, we share uh, our views. Uh, and where we see the challenges. And those meetings happen every week. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a very serious uh, 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 framework that we have and to do the very best. And I can tell you that she's always fighting for blood. To say, where is this? This has been donated. Can you make sure we get our share? From you, what we all need is to make sure that you stay safe, wear your mask, practice social distancing. I know it's very difficult for people to practice social distancing, to keep the mask on, especially when they're talking to their friends and all those kind of things. But please make sure that you maintain a one meter distance wherever you are, be it in a shop, in a bank queue, and always wear your mask. The least that you can do is to help everyone fight COVID. My name is Zanzel Endeavor. Till we meet again in other programs, have a good day.